we was processing today too in in our city, um, in Newark. I had just I was just riding by and I caught it. It was like maybe fifty people. It wasn't a lot of people, but um, New Jersey was definitely one of the most peaceful protests. Like we didn't start uh, <laughs> damaging anything, and looting. Um, we didn't either. Shit. Yeah. You see motherfuckers that do that shit? Agents. Clients. I know. But, and if you look at history, dang, I should have um, did some research. Now I gotta, you know, go off the dome. Um, the Boston Tea Party, when they dressed up as Indians and, you know, they try to, you know, tear up shit. You feel me? It's the same thing. They keep using the same tactics over and over again. Mm. It's like we see you, and then <laughs> now we have cameras. Like, yeah, dude, you think we don't see you? It's like, and and it's funny because even the Caucasians with the cameras, they're saying, "Wait, these guys are Caucasian and they're doing this." Like, they actually t- saying it on camera. The news is fucking reporting this shit for the first for the first time. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Cause usually they always be oh and then but one lady on the outlet did say something about uh well I hope she's an employee because a white lady was coming out with like bags of shit all on her arms and shit. And she was like, Well, maybe hopefully she's an employee. I'm like, come on. Let that man a black person walking out of that shit. And motherfuckers are like, oh, they're looting. Ain't no fucking employee. They always get a pass. Even on, even now, they still get a pass. But I'm glad more of them are standing up and coming out. But it's mostly like white women. The, what the white dudes? Say? I don't see none of them motherfuckers. <laughs> nah, it's and, funny. Nah, it's some of them out there. I ain't gonna say I don't see any of them. But a lot of them motherfuckers not not giving a fuck. I talked to this white dude today. I asked him, I was like, he was like, how was your weekend? I was like, have you not been seeing what's going on? He was like, yeah, but I like to, you know, he said, I like to turn a blind eye to things and just pretend that they're not happening. I was like, so how was your weekend? He was like, oh, I went to the golf course. I was like, mm. I was thinking to myself, it, it must be fucking nice. It must be nice to just be able to say, fuck it. I don't care what the fuck happens. I'm white. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be all right. You know what I'm saying? Like, no matter what happens, I'm good. It must be fucking nice. Yeah, because they get to live out the day without being interrupted. Imagine you just living your life, and because, you know, of how you look, you, you're racing your racially profile. <laughs> I have to imagine it. What do you mean? No, I'm just, saying, I'm just saying, like, you're always basically profiled, and, you know, you're always being stopped. It doesn't matter. I remember, um, I just graduated out of college. I had my first job. I was so proud of my job. And I was a sales rep, so I had to be, I was an outside sales rep, so I always had to be outside. And I was sitting in my car, and the police pulled me over. I had no idea why he did it. And he told me because I had my graduation tassels hanging up on my, uh, my rearview mirror, my my mirror. So he gave me a $35 ticket and I cried. I cried like a baby snot coming out my nose. Just because that was the first time that, um, it's not the first time I've seen um, racism, but that was the first time that as an adult that it really hit me. And I'm just like, so you're so offended by my graduation tassels that you want to give me a ticket, you know? And I, I'm just starting out. I just graduated, graduated out of college. It's not like I had a lot of money. And then, you know, you give me a $35 ticket for someone who probably lived in Beverly Hills. That's nothing. That's like, you know, lunch. But for me, you know, that was just a, a, a wake up call. Like, man. That's that's pretty messed up. Was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday I was driving right hand lane, um, about to get off, 
and this dude in the U-Haul truck was on the in the lane next to me. I'm just driving. All of a sudden, he all in my fucking lane, right? Mm-hmm. Of course, I'm like blowing the horn. This motherfucker is still in my lane. He will not move. So I lay on the horn. I swear to God, I was blowing my horn for at least a minute. At least a minute. Probably more. This motherfucker would not get the fuck over. I finally catch up to him. Look over there. It's a white dude. I was like, this is some bullshit. I don't, you know what I'm saying? You, you don't know how to feel. You don't know if he's just an asshole. He's a racist. I don't know. But right now, in this climate, it feels like this motherfucker is trying to run me off the road. You know what I'm saying? That's you what it feels like. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, all of the above. Just check all the boxes. Yeah. It's like, who doesn't hear somebody actively, like, laying on their horn? Who doesn't respond to that? You know what I'm saying? It's just... It's fucked up. I just seen a video where it was an FBI agent who got racially profiled, and then when they found out who he was, he was like, "Oh no, 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 y'all all in trouble." <laughs> <laughs> and I don't want to see, you know, paperwork, all of y'all. Like, let me get your cards. Like, no, 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 because I want to see why y'all profiled me. You know what I mean? So thing it's always a history like you know what i'm saying i don't even want to name but you know the dude that killed george had 12 Mm. 12 complaints against him 12 i've never ever 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 worked any fucking job where they complain against me or write me up 12 times and i still got my job never ever ever, 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 one document you know write up or anything like it was nothing what you mean? Like, out of the 12 complaints that he had, it was zero uh, disciplinary action. Right. So they exactly. write up nothing. It's like, yo, how, how does that happen? It's like people complain, it's, but it's like, oh, complain all you want. I'm still going to do what I do. Yeah, that's how you feel. Like, Imagine, imagine you getting away with all that shit. You feel like Teflon done. You feel like, oh, can't that touch me? I can just roam the streets and do whatever. Plus, he probably seen his colleagues get away with that for years because, you know, racist cops breed racist cops. You know what I'm saying? That's just the, uh, what they call it? The climate. You know what I'm saying? That's what they accept. So, of course, he's like, shit, we can do whatever we want to. That's got to be your mentality. How do you kill somebody on camera? He didn't, even, he didn't even care that he was on camera. He didn't let it up. Actually, I think he performed on camera. Because he was on camera, he just was like, yup, I'm going to put my hands in my pocket. I'm just going to sit here because I'm on camera and just let everybody know this is what I do on a regular. <laughs> you know, it's just like, it's crazy. And then for, if I've seen a video where it was just like an army of cops just surrounding his uh, residence. Um, because, you know, everybody was blasting his, his address. So we was like, oh, all right, we know exactly where to go. You know, no games. And it was so many cops, you know, just standing there um, protecting his residence. And so you, you're saying to the community that you're supposed to serve that you, this is what you stand for. You stand for murder. You, you love murder. And it's like, so why are you a cop? You sitting there trying to arrest people for disobeying the law when you love, you you don't, you don't even like the law. Yeah, it's like this boys in blue type situation. Like even the people who, you know, some some I mean I think like a handful of police officers have spoken out, but even the police officers who call themselves good cops, they have not said anything. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of just like a code, like you know, like guy code, like you know your homeboy cheating on his girl. But y'all got guy code, so you can't tell on him. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that's their, um, that's their culture. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what they breathe. That's how they feel. And until you show me something different, that's all I'm going to have to say. Like they always say, the only, the only thing for evil to triumph is for good men to do nothing. And you working at the police station has, is not enough. You know what I'm saying? You can't be everywhere as a cop and you can't say, um, oh, I'm a police officer. I'm going to do right. 
so this is going to change the, the whole police department. No, you also have to point, you have to call people out when you see them doing wrong. You know what I'm saying? Even your whole police department. And I know it'd be like backlash and, and things like that, but that's, a, that's the career you chose. I mean, you have to do that just as, as, as hard as you back blue lives or whatever y'all want to call it. You know what I'm saying? You have to be at for and for and um anti-racism the same way. That's what being a police officer is. You want us to hold you up here when you serve in the community. You know what I'm saying? Or if something happens, y'all want to be held up here. You don't want to be um held accountable for the things you do. But at the same time, you don't want to do the things that have you up here. You know what I'm saying? Have the responsibility of that goes along with it. No, that doesn't work. Choose another fucking career. That's which how you feel. Be a security guard. Walk around with a flashlight. So the original police officers, as you already know, you posted it, are slave catchers. So when police officers say, oh, I'm a police officer to help, you know, change the, the culture and policing. Look, so you're. Basically, what you're saying is the, the the solution for slave catchers is to be, is to become one. No, no, <laughs> you can't prevent slave catching by come becoming a slave catcher. That's exactly quote unquote what I said. Instagram one, let me post it. Like, no, the solution is to join with your community because by a police officer, you want to be a part of the community. Let's say that's what you want to do. Just do it organically. Yeah. You got to dismantle the system because, like I said, a system uh, uh, built on racism, you can't, you can't, like, you have to destroy it. You have to build it from the ground up because it was built wrong. The foundation of it is fucked up. You know what I'm saying? You got so many white supremacists, KKK people, you know what I'm saying? Bullies. Not even just racist, but just real bullies. People who wear the badge because in high school they were picked on and they were bullied. So now they're going to get a gun in the badge and they're going to walk around and bully everybody they run into, no matter what color you are. You know what I'm saying? You got to stop that shit. That should be like, man, it's so much. It's so much. Like, I could write a book and I can't go on this whole rent and shit, but yeah. Yeah. I mean, so what do you I think mean, about... But what? you said that the system is was built wrong but no 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 it was built right it was built to support well, I see, white supremacy I it wasn't you, built for us you feel me so the man, fact I, that our ancestors were trying so hard to be a part of a system that were nat- wasn't naturally built for us that's the problem because we're trying to adapt to a system that attacks us I didn't say adapt to it. I said destroy it. No, I'm not saying what you're saying. I'm saying what uh, the civil rights movement was saying. was like, oh, we need to integrate with the system. What? No, 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 no. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. That's that's the difference. No, no, I'm not saying what you're saying is right. No, I'm not talking about what you're saying. I'm saying what you're saying about... um, um, the activists, the civil rights activists and, and how they feel and they, everybody has this question like well what's so different about y- your movement you know everybody keep asking what's so different about what we're doing or versus what our ancestors have done you know what I'm saying like you said we always wanted a seat at the table we don't want to fucking seat at the table no more we want to fucking dismantle the whole fucking table all together mm. I felt that like Yes, that's exactly what we want. That's the difference. That's the difference. And then the, a, a lot of difference is, you know what I'm saying, even though um, our ancestors or the civil rights movement did have a lot of white people involved in it, you know what I'm saying, even in slavery, you know, there were some white people that, that hid slaves and things like that. But now, now, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's, it's the same, but it's, it's different. It's, it's got a little flip to it. You know what I'm saying? Like, people are saying not what they think they should say. They're really saying how they feel. They're joining. And even, like like I said, the media. You know what I'm saying? Like, the media controls a lot of shit. And a lot of times, they just don't get it. I watch the news a lot when shit like this is happening. And they don't really report on how, like, me and you. When me and you have a conversation, how we feel, 
that's not how they get it in the news. And I think they're starting to get it. Oh, my shit. Look, martial law. They just sent me a text to remind me I need to be in the house at 9 o'clock. That's crazy. And and that's that's why they had their ghouls out there, you know, because they couldn't they couldn't do what they wanted to do with the coronavirus. So they like, oh, we'll take advantage of the protests and we'll just tear shit up. You know what I mean? Like, unfortunately, we 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 sit up here trying to play Uno when they are much much more advanced at playing chess. They've been playing chess for hundreds of years and we still trying to match colors with with fucking numbers no 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 we need to play chess thanks thanks so what are you thinking about what you think about the rice and whatever rice protests listen i mean look i'm i'm over 30 10 years ago I would have been out there tearing shit up, probably. I ain't going to hold you. I'm so serious. Because 10 years ago, I, when I was in college, I was protesting. I don't know what I was protesting for. I was like, I, I, I seen it on social media. But back then, it was Facebook. Um, a Facebook just came out. Um, they post stuff. And I was like, I'm there. I used to, I used to take train to York. I was out there protesting. I don't even know what I was protesting for. I was out, out, out here. Okay. <laughs> but over 30, it's like, I get it with the protesting. Like, you want to show um, everybody in the nation, in the world, like, how you feel. But I'm, I'm here for the after. After the protesting is over, when you want to get a black economy started, I'm right here. Where you at? Let's go. Let's go on that. You know what I mean? Because protesting, that's cool. That's Martin Luther King aspect. Let's let's ride with that. But I'm not gonna act all day. Like, like I'm at, what happens after the protest? That's me. You know what I'm saying? So I think that. You know, it's been a hundred years since the the uh today, since Black Wall Street was destroyed. It shouldn't have taken a hundred years for us to get another one back up. That's ridiculous. Black people like, are so docile, or we were so docile. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? We always about peace. And I hate that it gets betrayed that we are so violent when we're so prone to violence. Violence is our only resolution to everything because it's not. It's not even our nature. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of times, like you said, you said build a system, work within, right? That's what people have been trying to do. You know what I'm saying? But I think it takes some some a little bit of this, a little bit of that, dash a little bit of something. You know what I'm saying? I think it, I think we I think we need everybody. We need everybody. You know what I'm saying? We need people, the the witches, the brujas, witches and shit, casting spells. You already and, know how Haiti became free. Haiti became free by doing that witch doctor. Like we about to <laughs> we put a spell on this. <laughs> they not waking up tomorrow. All these same mm-hmm. masters. We need, we need the grandmas who still believe in Jesus, praying in the Bibles every Sunday, two or three hours that wake up with that Bible and pray for the, the people. Nigga, we need uh we need the rioters. We well not the rioters, but the protests, you know what I'm saying? We need uh journalists, we need doctors, we need the lawyers, uh, we need everything. We need everybody. We need people who make Facebook posts, we need people who who come in the comments, you know what I'm saying? Keep that thread popping with with the facts, with the truth. We need people still out here reporting all these murders that's still happening. We fucking out here protesting murder and y'all still killing people. And y'all don't see the point. You know what I'm saying? Like we need everybody. I don't I don't knock nobody. You know what I'm saying? That's that's just like when people grieve, you know what I'm saying? When people grieve a loss. And you got all these people on this side telling you how you should grieve. 
oh, it shouldn't take you that long. Oh, uh, it's because you you don't believe in, in God that it's taking so long. Oh, you need to you need to try to work out and exercise. You know what I'm saying? You got to get up. You got to focus on something else. You got to focus. You can't tell somebody how to grieve. It's my grief. No, Can I have it, that's mine? The problem with the civil rights is uh the civil rights um people is they like you said, they too docile. They like, oh I all he has to do bleed Jesus in the bed. Like, no, we we not there. No, no, no. We did that. We try we tried that for a hundred years. We don't need a hundred years of Jesus. We need a hundred years of action. Now, you know what they're thinking about. When they say, oh, you should honor your ancestors, your ancestors won't act like this. They're not thinking about this, this, the, the slaves, the motherfuckers who killed their slave masters. They're not talking about them. They want us to be like the 1960s joints. We we, we taking it way back. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, they don't, and they don't like it. Like that, um, what was her name? The activist, I think her name is Tammy. I can't Google right now. But uh, no, Tamika, that's her name, Tamika. Um, when she said violence, we've learned violence from you. Mm-hmm. America, America has looted black people. You know what I'm saying? Yes. You're the, you're the looters. And still, they are the looters. Everybody caught on camera that I've seen is is a person that is not a person of my skin tone breaking windows and 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 setting fires. It, the police was sitting right there to the next to the cop car while the lady was spray painting and telling her to put on there or put Floyd on there too. I'm like, yo, they tripping. Not only that, yo, somebody has a clip. I've seen it probably at least three times on my Instagram feed of bricks just stacked in front of he didn't say what building it was, so I don't know. I but Brick just sitting there. Yeah. For people to just pick it up so they can catch pic- pictures of black people tearing shit up. Nah, nah. He was like, what? No, oh, what? And this is the problem. Us as Aborigines, we think that we can infiltrate and, and go and be police officers and we about to make a change. Playing Uno. That's not, that hasn't worked. That's not going to work. The way they do it, they actually get one of you. I now you become a blood or a crip or black pin, whatever you want to become, and tear shit up, and it happens. You feel me? They they do it so well, and the and the and the most funniest part, they don't even have to change the narrative. They can keep doing the same thing they did they did hundred years ago, two hundred years ago. They just keep doing the same. Thing and no matter what generation we keep falling for it, it's the funniest thing. I'm like, when are we gonna put the Uno cards down and bring up the test for it? <laughs> like, I know. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, I understand. You know, what I'm saying we we upset with uh, racism, we upset with uh, police killing, but I feel like the movement. I hope it's a movement. It should be a more. It should be more encompassing. You know what I'm saying? Like. Not only dismantling the whole police department structure, funding, all of it, and just starting from scratch. Not only that, but I think that, you know what I'm saying, like, we should have more black farmers. And we should just have more organic food. They call it organic right now, but it's just food. Food without pesticides. You know what I'm saying? Food that's not shipped in from overseas that we can grow out here in our own land. I think, like, the whole education structure should be like change, you know what I'm saying? The education system should be funded more than a damn police department. We should bring back the arts, you know what I'm saying? The arts, the sciences in our schools, you know what I'm saying? Like teach people life skills, like me and you were talking about. Teach me how to iron my shirt. Teach me how to balance my checkbook. You know what I'm saying? Teach me what groceries and stuff to buy. Teach me how to cook for myself. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't want to celebrate no more white nationalist holidays. I don't want that structure in Central Park no more. Like, I want it all. I want everything. I want it all. I feel like we should just sit sit down together and just come up with, like, this, uh, man, I'm getting emotional. Well, 
the, the problem is that we are looking to the government to do all of these things when we can just do it for ourselves. All the things that you said, we can do. We don't need permission from anybody to do exactly what you said. They're not going to do it because their system helps, you know, maneuver what, what they do. Even, unfortunately, or fortunately, whatever, how you want to call it, the Caucasians that is within their system, they they also want them to be docile and and be tied into the system be, and that's why they're trying to you know get um reduce the world's population because you know they're they're you know doing stuff to the food that you know you're going to eat to try to you know reduce the population whatever they're trying to do you know if you believe in conspiracy theories but i think i'm not sure i'm not sure but i don't think Africa is as racist as it is here. You think? Well, that's not what I'm hearing from. I, I follow African American um news channels, the people who are African American. I, I follow their news channels because they're indigenous and I care about every all indigenous people. And they're saying that China is overrunning them. They Chinese people are treating Africans right now like in Africa, in, in Africa, country. in they, country. They they told I think for like two months one of the Chinese companies told Africans if they leave the job they will get fired. It it got to the point where the Africans burned the company down. Mm. Because they was tired of working and they wanted to go home. That's what's happening over there. So Chinese is running the muck in Africa. Everybody like, oh, that's good Africa. Why is yo, they they're not even it's so it's Africa's on attack. And and it's not that um against helping all of our indigenous brothers and sisters, no matter where they are, you know, Haiti also needs support. They need help um, there. You know what I mean? It's, it's very unfortunate that we are the majority of the planet and we're, we're like, <laughs> we like, oh, this country needs help. That country needs help. No, Brazil needs help. All of us need help. And it's, and it's, and I'm glad we're talking about this because we have to stop looking at each other as tribes. You're from here. You're from there. Mm, we're all indigenous, period. We're all aborigines. Like, honestly, we have to put our tribes down. We can talk about tribes when all of this is over. We can talk about where we from to up and down to can come a thousand years above. Right now, everybody needs to identify as being aborigines and indigenous to the planet. Anybody who is melanated, that's it. And, and, and we need to join together, make a plan and say, I'm with you. You need help. We going to, and, and you, Americans, we have to understand that all of these countries are looking at us. But mm -hmm. I don't know why. But I know, right? <laughs> because everybody got so that piece of that piece of shit that America's the dreamland, the opportunity, and we are here for you. Give us your poor, your hungry. You know what I'm saying? Like they actually fed into that shit. And, and all the movies say it. All the movies have us living so lavish. You know, well, you know, besides the hood movies. But you know what I'm saying? So they bought into it. That's what they believe. Until they get but, here. We, for some reason, we, we're the people that the, uh, the globe is looking at. You feel me? So it, it starts here. It has, for whatever reason, I don't know why, it has to start here. We need everybody on board. And I want to apologize for the people who aren't mentioned that while we were dealing with our issues, 
people were out there um, committing genocide against them, the countries that aren't mentioned. I, I, I have a feeling for them people, man, because I remember being in college reading about it. I, I forget which country it was. Couldn't be sure if I did some research, I, I can figure it out again. That while I was in college, they were committing genocide on these people, the aborigines of that country. I don't remember which country it was. Huh? You talking about the, the Tanzanians? Um, where are they from? Brazil, I think. That's what you're talking about. Where they, where they get the Tasmanian devil from? The Tasmanians. I was so sad about it. I posted about it. I can't even get into my Facebook account, so that's that's fine. Um, to even look it up, but yeah, and I I I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for all my Aborigines who had to do the same thing. They literally go from country to country to country to country to country to country, from continent to continent. Well, seven continents doing the same thing. From and, and that's why I don't advocate vi- for violence, but I'm trying to get people to understand that we can make all the fucking laws in the world that we want to. We can make all the deputies go and enforce these laws that we want to, but the powers that be, the 1%, they will kill you. They will literally go out and murder you in cold blood and hide the story. You'll never hear about it until 10, 20 years later. So I'm just trying to get people to understand the gravity of things, not to be what we're trying to fight against, but know what they're capable of. You know what I'm saying? Know what you're fighting. Understand that it goes deeper than just um a, a one system or one part a, a one little peg in the whole in the whole wheel the whole wheel needs to fucking burn down you got to you got to you got to understand things you know what i'm saying that the way the way that they, that they feed you sickness every day in the food you eat then they feed you sickness when you get home on a television you got to understand these things you got to limit these things. You got to block these things out. You know what I'm saying? You got to build whatever you want your life to be or whatever you want the world to be for your children. That's what you have to concentrate on. A lot of people have an issue with time. They don't have enough time. They're trying to get money. You know, their kids got to eat. They got to keep the lights on. But when you invest in all this time and getting money, you know what I'm saying? The things that you're, you're working towards, the way that you want your life to be or your kids' life to be, you're, you're you're not investing in it. And if things aren't invested in, they die. They they die by the wayside. And then 60 years from now, you'll be sitting around and you'll be wondering, what happened to my child? Why haven't they learned these things? Didn't they see me working? They saw you working, but they didn't know what you were working for because you never had time to invest in that. You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Like, that's what, that's what I'm trying to get people to understand. Like, the way that we live is fucked up. Everything, I'm telling you, is deeper than just social injustice and police brutality. It's deeper than that. It goes so much deeper than that. The way you you got your kids believing in these false idols. The way you got your kids celebrating these false holidays. You You got your kids celebrating a murderer. A person who murdered people. Mm hmm you got people going to a hospital named after people who took your, your black brothers and sisters and did experiments on them. Like, you gotta, like, <laughs> man, <laughs> I just want, I just want everybody to just, just fucking read or something. Do something. Educate yourself. We should have been educating ourselves the whole time COVID was going on, but now, like, open a fucking book. Learn something besides Malcolm X, besides Martin Luther King, besides Marcus Garvey. Learn something else. You know? Invest. Mm-hmm. Invest in your community. Find a black business owner. Give them a second, a third, a fourth chance to make it right. Just like you do Target. Target don't always do you right. Walmart don't always do you right. Taco Bell don't always do you right. They fuck up your food every fucking time.
fine. Every time you go there, they forget to give you your sauce. But you still go back. A black business fuck up one time. You post it everywhere. Shut the fuck up. Support your people. I don't know, man. I don't know. I want our money to stay in our community. I want us to be like the Amish. We walk down the Amish neighborhood. They got their hospital set up. They got their school set up. They train their kids from the day they fucking born. Everything they want their kids to know is what they teach them. They don't have nobody coming in there teaching them no fucking bullshit, how to hate themselves. Come on, Mm -hmm. man. I want to see it. I want to live to see it. So... Here, we here at State Advice just hope, you know, this is the beginning of something. I hope y'all don't, I hope y'all don't let up. I hope y'all add to it. Every time you wake up, every time I wake up in the morning, I think of something new that we could be doing. I hope you add to it. Put your list out. Send it to your congressman this morning because, okay, let me say this. I'm going to charge my phone. I'm not an instigator. But I, I, I do, I'm, I'm a rebel, to, to say the least. So I was posting, but she is like, huh? You a Leo. That part, I'm fired. So um, I was posting that I understood, not necessarily that I side with the looting and the, and the riots, which we weren't even fucking, that was, most of the shit wasn't even us. But I was just saying, I understand, I understand. Fuck a city. Fuck a building. Let all this shit burn. That's what I was saying, right? So people were like, oh, you're not out there on the front line protesting. You're not putting your body out there. you sending these kids off to die, X, Y, Z. And I was like, I posted something. I was like, you know, do your own activism. You don't have to be on the front line. You can write a poem. You can write a song. You can share stories. You can donate to bail people out of jail who were at the protest. You know what I'm saying? You can vote. Fuck. Let's not forget voting. Everybody go vote. Vote these motherfuckers out of office, okay? I want everybody to exercise their right to vote. I know a lot of shit going on, but don't forget to vote. So, that being said, I'm sick of, just because I live in a low-income neighborhood, every time I go to the gas station, the pump don't work. Every time I try to use my debit card, the pump, it don't work. So, my social activism so to speak is i call shell i'm sorry i don't mean to drop names but i call shell and i'm like xyz keeps happening every time i use this atm i want them to come and fix this shit a lot of people a lot of black people like i said we don't have time we raise the kids xyz we don't call our senators we don't write letters black people roll past the damn pothole until the hole is this damn big fucking up their cars all day. I want it to be the change that I wanted to see. If something fucked up in your neighborhood, it doesn't work. We spend, we pay, we spend just as much money at that establishment. All the shit's to work. I go to a shell in another neighborhood. I ain't never got to worry about my debit card not working. I ain't never got to worry about going inside, being inconvenienced. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want the same level of service that you put here I want it here, where I live, because I spend my money here, too. My money good, too. You feel me? So I just want people to, like, exercise their right to vote. And if you're sending, you, I don't know, senators make, like, 45K, 50K for the rest of their lives. For the rest of their lives. And they're just sitting on their ass. Call them out. Call them. Text them. Write them. Call the news. Put them on blast. Tell them, hey, I've been trying to get in this, this senator and tell them about this pothole, tell them about this not this light not working, this light gonna cause an accident, X, Y, Z. People shouldn't have to die. People cars shouldn't be fucked up. You know what I'm saying? People shouldn't be inconvenienced every time they go somewhere because they live in a poor, poor neighborhood. We poor, but we paying taxes. Mm-hmm. Like you said, they taking money out of our taxes. Every time we go in the store, we gotta pay our tax. The gas is higher. Everything's higher. There's no food. You know what I'm saying? There's no uh, organic food at your local uh, grocery store. You got to drive 15, 10, 10, 15 miles out to get some good food or some organic food. It's not fair. It's not right. You need to I'm t- <laughs> be active. Whatever you need to do, just do something. Yeah. 
yeah. I mean, I know we just really just went absolutely <laughs> off because we are mad. You know. Um well not mad, but we yeah, we tired. We're passionate. We're passionate mm-hmm. about the events, the recent events that's happening, and not even a recent events, but just what's been going on for the past 200 years. Like, we're not 200 years old, but we we feel the effects of what our people behind us didn't do. So now, in this generation, like, we we gotta do something for the, the generation coming after us and even if it's just letting them know that Uno ain't it we gotta you know what I mean like we gotta let them know that look it's the same thing the the and I the funny part is I saw on a newspaper today that while all of this is going on um I guess uh, the first, I guess, spaceship went up since 2011, mm-hmm. and it's yeah, like they like, yeah, y'all burn all of that now. We about to we exploring yeah. space out here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like they don't care. They okay. out here exploring space while you burning something. Like they don't care. They don't care. They are, they're like, oh, good. They focus on that. We got time. Right. Get that spaceship. Get that spaceship up. Like, okay. You know? Yeah. A lot of shit going on behind closed doors. But it's always been going on behind closed doors. That's the point. I mean, that's the problem. We need transparency. And all our ancestors before us said time and time again, even Caucasians said the same thing. The worst thing that can happen for white supremacy is for us to unify. Yet it's taken us how many years? I don't even know how many years to unify. Like, look how many times they have tried to get us to not unify. How many attempts? And they keep succeeding. They like, yes, checkmate. We got them all. It's like, bro, like, try again. Try again. Try again. Mm-hmm. I think um, the assassination of all our political leaders has has made a lot of people hesitant to step up. I mean, that's the only thing I could come up with. I mean, they killed so many people. And it's just like, everybody was just sitting back. Like, um, the episode of Boondock said, everybody was sitting back waiting on Martin Luther King to come back. You know, they was waiting on, we was just like waiting on somebody to step up. But I think now, hopefully, we see that we don't need one person. Matter of fact, we need everybody. We need a collective voice, like you said. You know what I'm saying? Like, this person doesn't have the answer for it. This person isn't, but this person and this person can come together, you know what I'm saying? And make it make sense. Like, I'm even... I don't know. We live in a capitalistic society. And that's a whole other <laughs> monster to, to, to try to, you know what I'm saying, capital to, to kind of, like, dead. You know, you can't really get people to to be like, no, we're not going to have, we're just going to not love money anymore. We're just going to love people. You know, like, I don't know. That's a hard sell, especially for our society. But, listen, we're we not going to all agree. When I made my call, I know for a fact that none of us are going to agree. We need one thing that we agree upon. Mm-hmm. Just one. <laughs> and, a, and whatever else we don't agree upon, we leave that in the backseat and we'll figure that out later. That's it. But That's a lot of people are not mature enough to do that. 
oh, I don't want, I don't want to work with him because he will agree that blah blah blah. It, it's like <laughs> we don't got time for that. We That's gotta right. leave our differences behind us. Yeah. I don't care what. I don't care what he, yeah, well, he still owe me five dollars, so that's why, I, like, no, I'll, I'll give you five dollars. That's it. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> that's all. Like, come on, man. And when when you said about the leaders, the reason why there haven't been another leader, and I, I it's because after Malcolm X died, who turned up? Tell me, who? who who turned up? Oh, you talking about um Jesse? Hell no, I that trader not gonna turn up. Who 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 turned? No, nobody. None of his followers oh, turned, turned up. up. Like, he got busy and oh no 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 no. I don't think he's like, turning up. Like our leader just died. When Martin Luther King died, who turned up? That's what I'm saying. That's why there's no leaders out. Why? Why would somebody be like, "Oh, I'll be the next one"? Because you know you're gonna give your life, everything. You're gonna put all kinds of sacrifices out there. You gonna put everything on the line, and then when you get killed, nobody is gonna give a damn. That's why nobody has stepped forward. Because when our leader died, was murdered, assassinated, no. Everybody turned up. Everybody just went back to their old lives like, oh, they did. Like, no. That's the civil rights generation. Thank you, by the way. No, thank you. Like, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't. Don't shit on that. Don't shit on our people. On they they sacrificed their bodies. They got beat the fuck up. They lost jobs. They had to live in poverty. They died. Murdered. No, we still do. That's the price. Nobody wants to pay the price. That's the price. What's the problem? That's the price. And then you have people who say that. Oh, the solution is we need to all go to the continent of Africa. Listen, I don't care. I I swear to God on my life, if I'm the only one still in America and everybody else led to the continent of Africa, I'm going to die here. I'm not going to die anywhere else unless I'm traveling <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna die right here on this soil right it, here I don't give a damn if I'm the only one standing we are not um saying anything derogatory towards our brothers and sisters who have chosen to move back home. We understand that you want to just live peacefully. That's your choice. We're not knocking it. I'm not knocking that. Just saying. Me. I am American. I'm staying here. I'm dying here. Whether I have Two million people behind me or nobody with me. I'm being right here. I can have a baseball bat and some sneakers in my hand. That is all in a water bottle. I turn up on my toe. <laughs> That's how I feel, bro. That's how I feel. I'm not going nowhere. Even if the government said, I got boats clean, line up, everybody let go. I'm like, all right, see y'all later. <laughs> I'm right here. I'm not built like that. I'm not built to run. That's me. I'm not built like that. That's me. No, no, no. The Leo inside of me is like, oh, hell. You ain't about to run me off my turf? Oh, no. Nah, I'm I'm like I'm like you now, 
but I was on that shit. I was going to be like, man, fuck this. I'm going home. You know what I'm saying? I'm going back to Africa. Fuck this. I was like, I'm going to some continent in Africa, somewhere where they know uh, homophobic, hom- homophobia, and I just live free with my people, and I see black people everywhere I go, blah, blah, blah. But now I'm like, man... My people, my people fought, died, built this shit. This shit was built on our backs. This is our fucking country. Feel me? Exactly. Like, no. Everybody who has sacrificed, even the people who we haven't learned from, their stories are not told, their stories are not written down. You think I'm going to sit here and watch our ancestors sit there and watch us freaking fail? Crazy. Crazy if I'm leaving. If I'm going to die, I'm going to die in peace. And I'm not going to be in peace running somewhere else. I'm going to die in peace. No. I'm not leaving. Staying right here. Right here where people, all my family, and my blood made sacrifices. Sacrifices and stood tall. And if I leave, now, all they sacrifice have been for nothing, and I can't be at peace with that. I can't. I can't. I can never be at peace with that. I mean, if you can, that's you, but my soul can't be at peace with that. I might go to, I might go to Finland or something. I got a toy Yorkie. And I see what she can do, and it's not. She like four pounds, so I I think I need some better protection. <laughs> Definitely, than a four pound we Yorkie, yes. <laughs> so let me see your Yorkie. Where's she at? And laying down, chilling. She old now. She think she's eleven or twelve this year. She's just like I'm out for the count. Oh, I didn't know she was that old. Damn, when last time I been up there? 2017. Mm-hmm. I I I got her. She 18. I think the year I graduated or the year after. I, I want to say the year I graduated. I got her. Um. That was a beautiful story because I don't think anybody wanted her. I think she was a runt or something, but they always get the runs too. <laughs> I don't know. It's something about our heart. We just got to get the runs. <laughs> I mean, they turn out to be, you know, good yes, fucking animals, bro. The best. Everybody yeah. love my dog. They was like, oh, no, I don't like dogs. By the time we leave, oh, can I have your dog? No. No, I thought you didn't like dogs. Mm-hmm. I love my baby. So, yeah, I always get the run. So, and it can fit in my hand. It was like this big. Mm-hmm. Gizmo. Shout out to Gizmo. Uh-huh. No, I shot my dog out. I said, shout out to Gizmo. Oh, that's what's up. That's what's up. I still miss Auntie's dog. Huh? I still miss Auntie's dog. Oh, Max? Yeah. yeah. Everybody love Max. I can't fuck with Max. Max is too spoiled for me. He was sitting like, I don't know what, though. I know that. Max. You want to wrap it up? We didn't even go into who we were. We didn't say no intro to this bitch. We just no, jumped right the no, fuck in. No. It's just straight, <laughs> like... <laughs> Nitty, we going in hard in the on, you know what's happening because and and you know and you know what the crazy part is, um, in my feed there's still police officers still putting a knee on people's necks. They, you know, still punching people when they already down in handcuffs. It's just like y'all ain't learning shit. They You're don't. Hard. They they telling you, yeah. They showing you one down, one you know the, the next. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. 
But that's the thing, though. Everybody's like, oh, be nonviolent, nonviolent, nonviolent. Like, how? <laughs> Martin Luther King even said, quote, unquote, he led his people to a burning house. I done got out that burning house a long time ago. Oh, I'm out here. <laughs> that's what I like to say. Yeah. Martin Luther King was not that was not that person that they portray him to be. He was for most of his, you know, um, activist life, but in the end, he saw the light, and they don't publish that shit. They don't talk about that. That's why you know he got assassinated because he was a plain ball. Um, and you know, I this is off topic, but I want to shout out Jeb Kennedy. Because he was also assassinated because he wanted to he wanted to tell us exactly what was going on. I believe that with all my heart because his because of his last speech, if you ever if you ever watched it. I read it. He, he yeah. wanted to tell you, hey, public announcement, this is exactly what's going on. And they was like, Oh hell no. And even in history books today, rather than say it was two people two snipers. They said, oh, it was a magic bullet. That's what happened. Believe in magic. That's what happened. It's like it's 2020. They still talk about, it was a magic bullet that that, 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 that did it. Of course. That was the only explanation that had to be magic. <sighs> Sniped his ass in and out. Shout out to this. Shout out to him because yo, bro, I think that he was really trying to to say something and it was like no we we not gonna have that we <laughs> he's like yo even if it's most of the we got we just gonna say it's magic they're gonna believe it we just put it in the history books magic but we don't need no other explanation but magic I just, <laughs> just do it you know what i'm saying it's crazy and <laughs> I say shout out to them because it highlights exactly the extent that they would do. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. They would just you do what it. they want to do. And be everywhere. If, they don't care. Read Sun Tzu, the art of war. I got I got that book right over here, man. You got you got a number. You gotta know, like you said, we gotta start playing Uno or a check a checker. We gotta start playing chess. This shit is chess, my niggas. I say Uno because they put they put a red down. We trying to put a red down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just like we not even moving anything on the board. They they pushing up a rook. We putting a red card down. It's like we not doing shit. <laughs> it's, it's like. We playing two different games and they winning. And and like I said, I don't think so. The most smart the, the smartest part about it is that they don't even have to change their game plan. They can say, Oh, what are we gonna do? Hold, let me go back to the nineteen twenties. We did this before. Oh, uh-huh. we do this. Wait, this new generation they go they go this. <laughs> Over and over again. Trust me. <laughs> Next part is we do this. It, trust me, we did it before. It worked. It's gonna work again. Wait, it worked again. I know. We just keep doing the same thing. That's <laughs> crazy. It is crazy. Like they literally keep doing the same thing. It's it, it's not it's nothing new. The Simpsons, where it was drawing of the policemen choking, doing the same knee position of a black man. And then, I don't remember what uh, the little girl Simpson name is. You? Lisa. Lisa. Lisa was holding a sign saying, um, jo- you know, something, something George. You know what I'm saying? Like, protester for George. <laughs> It's literally, I'm dead serious. I'm I did not dead. see that. Nobody posted that. I saw it on my feed. So it's just like, they just looking at the playbook. All right, it's tough on the legend. Yeah, what we got? Mm. Let me look through it. Mm. Right. 
spit on this black dude and make sure it look like this, okay? Make sure his name's George. Mm-hmm. It's like, <laughs> it's the same thing. I, and, and, and the most funniest part is even if we, we, we had the playbook in our hand, like, yes! Woo! After, after two five hundred years later, we have the playbook right here. Everything they did five hundred years. Woo We can still get checked with the same check with the playbook. It's like, yo, what the hell? How does this work? Even if we all risked our lives to get a hand on the playbook, we would still be played. Because we're not playing the same game. So what's your so what's your um your, solution? Yeah, yeah, what's your solution? My ultimate solution is when when we when we started protesting and all this other shit and they made the civil rights acts or whatever because of what we did and we got integration out of it. We this is post integration. You tell me how do you feel about post integration being a part of that? How, no, that didn't work? Okay. So what we do is we do what we think supposed to be doing. Create cre- have a black economy. That way we can do exactly what you were saying. We can control our education. We can control our economy. Control, you know, we can have our own police. And did you know that if you had your own, um, that's how they do it in the, the other, the I mean, whatever who they are, society. You know Honestly? what I'm saying? Yeah, they have their own police officers. We, a part of the community. We 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 can do that. We can have our own. We can we we can have our own economy, have our own shit. Let's try to have our own city somewhere. What what they gentrifying everything else and trying to make their own city, their own gentrified states. Well, we can't have our own city. Have our own city. Have our own police officers. Have our own buses. Have our own planes. Have our own. Hospitals have our own restaurants, have our own everything. You know what I'm saying? And we have to start building because we already so many generations behind. Like, oh, we can't catch up. We we don't need to focus on that. We need to focus only solely on what we're doing. The problem is we always like, oh, what they're doing? Oh, what they're going to think? Oh, what they, 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 fuck that, yo. Fuck what they think. Fuck what they doing. I don't give a shit. They can send one million spaceships up in the, in the fucking air and I don't give a damn. What I want to know, what are we doing? Mm-hmm. That's what I want to know. So. We focus on us. We stop buying Jordans and all this other fucking shit that's not helping us. I got Jordans on my feet right now, so. Don't think I'm trying to say, y'all. Let me see. Let me see. Let me, let me see. <laughs> nah, nigga, let me see. <laughs> let me see. <laughs> Real life, man. <laughs> Real life. I get it, okay? But I'm saying we all cut it. We go cold turkey together. No daughters. We 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 do our own brand. When I was out oh, my house slippers was busted. It I didn't put it in a wash and then it came out crazy. I wanted to look for something else. The first place I went, Massive T and Romeo has um a clothing line. I looked it up it's, it's, it's to see if they had house slippers. You feel me? Like, and there's other avenues that you would take to try to see, you know, who sells what. But Black, what? Wall, Black Wall Street was a symbol. 
right now we're, we're spread all over the nation. We have internet. We can have a block, Black Wall Street internet first and then eventually turn it into a town, turn the town into a city, turn the city into a state, turn the state into a damnation, whatever we got to do. But And of course, don't think that we make it moves and we doing it all peacefully. We're not going to get bombed and attacked and harassed. And it comes to the territory. Shut the hell up. Put your passports away and let's go. You know what I'm saying? It comes with the territory. Of course, you, you're attacked on the regular anyway. Might as well be an attack doing something positive for your community. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You get attacked walking out the damn door trying to go to the grocery store. You can't even do that without being harassed by the police. We still have to leave the complex. We in there working out. We in there sleep in our bed watching TV. Exactly. Who you have to leave the house to get a tag? You see, uh, Bianca Taylor, she was in the house naked in a bed, chilling with her man, and they came in there and blasted her ass and 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 and, and arrested her man. You feel me? Like that comes with the territory. This is this is what it is. And 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 black people, we sitting there, we pretending like, oh, okay, fine, like. Everything not fine. Nah, it ain't been fine for a long time. You long. you hear Malcolm X and Martin Luther King speeches saying a hundred years later. How many years since they said a hundred years later? Mm, not a hundred. Like maybe one hundred fifty. It's like how many years have to go by? It's the same story. It hasn't changed. The solution is everybody has an economy but us. Caucasians obviously have an economy. Asians obviously have an economy. Middle Asians have obviously economy. Even Puerto Ricans and, and, and Latins and and whatever Indians, they have an economy. They have an economy. It's like everybody's sticking together. That's the point. But us, we wanna, we wanna say that. Oh, you're 18. Oh. You know what time it is. It's time to get your ass out the house. It's like. But you didn't prepare me to be an adult. You didn't prepare me for life. You didn't prepare me for anything. I don't even know how to balance a checkbook. I don't give a fuck. Get your ass out the hell. You eighteen years old and, and, and figure it out like I had to. And it's like eighteen. You still have a teen behind your age, and all of a sudden, because or well, what? Maybe you could buy a cigarette. You you're an adult now because you go buy a cigarette. What? You can't anymore. Not in Georgia. You gotta be 21. So it was like, like I I don't get it. We have to stop. We have to build an economy. I, that's my solution. And and, to, and and if anybody want to say, oh, that's not that's not the solution. Let's let's try it then. <laughs> let's try and see if it works. That's what I'm saying. We need to have a forum. If 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 somebody has an opinion about it and they don't think it'll work, they need to come with an, an under solution, and we can see who can meet in the middle to come to a collective understanding or collective um, agreement that hey, this is what's gonna work. Or this is what we should try. Or this is what we should, we should implement. And everybody, everybody. Like, I hope this July 7th shit work. Where people, they were calling for people not to go to work July 3rd through the 5th. And then for uh everyone, it's July 7th is a blackout. Nobody spent, nobody black spent $1. July oh, okay. July 7th. I want to say this. I want to say this. That 
for those who saying that my solution isn't going to work. It's been 99 years since Black Wall Street. So you can't tell me that, oh, that's something we tried and haven't worked. It worked. Oh, it was working like a motherfucker. That's why they came here. So, but we haven't tried it again. And I think building an economy is going to, uh, oh, all of a sudden the Uno cars went away and the chess pieces then came all the way out. All of a sudden we see the whole board. That's when you change the game. Yeah, I was thinking like on terms of like, you know what I'm saying, in every city, in every town, in every place that black people occupy, when you get pulled over by the police or you assume, you know, you feel like you're getting pulled over by the police, you should be able to call somebody. Three, four people should roll up. You know what I'm saying? If you get arrested, somebody should come check on you, make sure you are right. There should be a lawyer on call for you. I mean, it's just stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, we shouldn't have to hear about this four days later at the news outlet give us access to it when they decide they want to tell us. You know what I'm saying? Like, we should know these things. It's, it's happening to us. We should have a fund for this shit. You know what I'm saying? That's not being picked off and picked at and, and, and people stealing from it. I'm talking about some real shit. So they won't, they'll know they can't fuck with us. You cannot fuck with us, period. Or you gonna have, you gonna have like a billion, a uh, hundred thousand of us to, to, to deal with. You know what I'm saying? Like on some real shit. Mm. It's what a time. What a time to be alive. That's all I can say. What a time to be alive. If you bought that, if you bought that, if you bought that life right now, you know what I'm saying? It's not, it's scary, but it's not scary. You know what I'm saying? It's like what you waited your whole life for. I've waited for people to wake up. I've waited for, to hear people say the words that I've uttered to my friends. The shit that I woke, woke, wake up thinking about. The way that I feel about police brutality. The way that I feel about the system in in general you know what i'm saying i I just want to hear somebody say that shit and then be played over and over and over and have access to it you know i felt crazy living in america when you when you when you just aware and uh, of everything that's going on you know what i'm saying like i sit in the middle and i just look i just look i see everything that's going around and i see everything that's going on and it's like it can make you feel crazy if if nobody ever validates your feelings, your thoughts, you know what I'm saying? If nobody else is as fed up, like people get murdered and everybody just go back to work. We can talk about it for 15 minutes by the cooler and then the next day it's over. Nobody ever thinks about it again. You know what I'm saying? We don't have permission to grieve. We don't have permission to be angry. We just got to go on with our lives. You know what I'm saying? Because this is the way it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, I hate that shit. I hate when people say that. It's just, just the way it is. No. Do something about it. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Exactly. And we need, we, we have our own playbook that we need to open up because a lot of the leaders that we did have that honestly we did not honor when they passed away. And I'm not talking about just going to the grave site. I'm talking about really bringing their dream and their words to life. Um, you need to go back and listen to what they said. They And and honestly, what they said before, it, it's, it's relevant for today because things have not changed. So we need not to do that. Core. Not at the core. The core needs to change. Like, when a policeman, when a person comes and, and puts in the application, the police department, you know what I'm saying, you need to, you need to look that person in the eye as, as the hiring chief or whatever the fuck they are. And I know the chief probably don't do it, but whoever is in charge of the hiring, we need to know, you need to be able to look this man in the eye. I don't know, do some kind of racist test, racism test, play a movie and, and see how they heart jump. I don't know, something. But Stop hiring these motherfuckers, period. And this, and this is not true, but I'm going to say it anyway. They they have a test saying, did you ever get beat up in high school? And if you put yes, you automatically get accepted into the academy. <laughs> so, 
that's all you got to do is be some punk ass weak individual individual internally and you get accepted so this is what we got to work with they're not you know they're not human you can't be human if you're going to if you're going to stand for murder right i right i i i can't even watch it because that and then aubrey when he got shot i couldn't even watch it i don't want to see somebody murdered in real life i don't want to become desensitized to life you know to see this shit so much that it's just like just the next show i don't want to be that person so i can't watch this shit i can't but i know i know what the fuck happened though yeah and i'm gonna say it right now you see a cop on me don't feel me get them off me Thank you. That part. Come off me. Don't if we go to jail, me. we go to jail. But at least we alive. If we get our ass beat with some batons, we just get our ass beat with some batons. But hopefully we make it a lot out alive. And we can sue their ass. You know what I'm saying? But don't fucking sit there and let that nigga take my life. Don't do that. A video where this cop did pretty much the exact same thing. And this woman was in her car recording it. And she was screaming, ah, I can't breathe. You in the safety of your car. They can't hear you. They can't hear you. This man is dead. They can't hear you in the car. At least get out the car and be like, hey, I'm witnessing. I'm on the camera. I'm physically witnessing you killing him. Get the hell up off him. What are you doing? What's your problem? Talk to him. Say something. I don't know. Right, right. Like, Say something. I think they were saying something to him, though. They were like, get off of him. He can't breathe. But, yeah. And don't, 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 don't shoot no video about how I died. Shoot a video about how I survived. Yeah, I mean, and, and, and I want to say this one last thing. The reason why we are afraid of doing something in that moment when we can save a life of someone who looks like us is because we know if we go to jail, we have no economy to back us up when we get out. We're, we're, we're pretty much dead after that because we can't get a job and if we do, we can't live. So that's why I'm saying the solution is to have an economy for us because if god forbid we're trying to save somebody's life we're not punished two ways right that part forever for the rest of our lives basically yeah just like every like you said but you said that's the price remember that's the price that that is the price but it doesn't have to be if we if we had some type of cushion that not that Zaddy gave us that we gave ourselves mm-hmm. that we gave ourselves not I, Zaddy us and yeah and we should have to write in prison for no 10 20 years either for y'all to come for us either we should have to serve 10 20 years before we exonerated even that's some bullshit Man, it's people sitting in prison right now. Um, dang. I guess this is the last thing. Maybe not. But the person, I don't remember her name. Maybe her name is Amy. I don't remember her name. The cop that shot the dude was sitting on, her, sitting on his couch and eating ice cream. She got 10 years. But this other dude, black dude, indigenous guy, fella. He got 12 years because he brought a cell phone into the prison. So murder is 10 years. Cell phone is 12. No, it all depends on what color your skin is. We already know that. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. Like, it's so much bigger. It's so much bigger. 
so much bigger. You gotta, you gotta break the whole thing. You gotta break it all down. This is not our typical um, episode, but we wanted to vent and talk about what's been going on. It's it's hard for us to sit there, ignore, and try to do an episode on how to get girls. You know what I mean? <laughs> this is, you know, bigger than what yeah. what we go through on our, on a daily basis. This is something that is continuous, obviously, because it keeps happening. And if we don't talk about it, um, then we just let everything just fall away to the side and, and, and not honoring um, the sacrifices that people have made for us. Yeah, so I appreciate you for joining in. You know, when we started, it was light outside. Now it's dark. We putting in work trying to, you know, talk about what's going on. So you know what to do. Like it, comment, share it. If you have a better solution than what I have said, please post it down. If you are from another race and you show some support, say it below so we can see it. Because right now, you know, we had a protest in New Zealand. You know, they was shouting out Black, Black Lives Matter and, you know, just the fact that everybody's coming together that actually... Hopefully this this is this is the movement from here forward so that you know we can attack the one percent together. You know what I mean? And the ninety nine percent, you know, we will stand tall, we will stand strong, we'll come out on top. So listen, the truth is, uh the protests, you know, started with just outrage of just seeing the another murder of another black body. Um, so in light of that, I will say this, the police have killed, murdered over a hundred people since 2015. Um, I cannot go through all everybody's name, but I'm going to spend a little time just saying some names, some names we probably never even heard of, but I'm going to say them anyway. And hopefully, hopefully, this will be the last time we have to do this. I really hope. Keith Child- uh, Childress, uh, he's from Las Vegas, 12 31 15. Betty Jones, Chicago, Illinois, 12 25 15. Keith Matthews, them. Dearborn, Michigan, 12-23-15. Michael Knoll, 12-21-15. St. Martin, Louisiana. Leeward Browning, 12-20-15. Palmdale, California. Roy Nelson, 12-19-15. Hayward, California. Michael Lee Marshall, Denver, Colorado, 11-11-15. Alonzo Smith, 11-1-15. Washington, D.C. Keith Mc, McLo- McLoyd, 92315. Are oh, they killing me with these names? Richardson Town, uh, Maryland. Wayne Wheeler, 9715. Lanthrop, Michigan. Levante Biggs, 9515. Doral, North Carolina. Michael Sabi, 72215. Texarkana, Texas. Billy Ray Davis, 7 2015, Houston, Texas. I could go on and on. Mm-hmm. Sandra Bland, Philando Castro, um, Tamir Rice, Breonna Taylor, George Floyd. We just, it's too many people. Too many people killed by murdered, murdered by people we pay to protect us every single day. It's not the only thing, but it's it's spark it's spark you know it's like it's like that that little light of fluid 
And then there was just like all this oil that was already spilled. So it's ignited now. It's bigger than that. It's bigger than this. It's the whole system needs to be dismantled. Like my cousin said, we need a new economy. We need a black economy. We need people we can count on. We need to be the people that our children can count on. We need to make it what our ancestors died fighting for. If our ancestors can run on land, on soil that they are not even familiar with, with no shoes, little to no water, they know where the fuck they were going. They just knew they had to get the fuck out of here. That's how we should feel. We may not know where we're going, but we got to get the fuck out of here. This is not some place where I want my niece and nephew to grow up in. And I know you don't want your niece to have to go through the same shit that you go through on job interviews and grocery stores, uh, any place that they don't think we belong. I'm tired of getting followed by the fucking police because I'm in the wrong neighborhood. I'm in the wrong town. I'm tired of them asking the shit like, where are you going? What are you doing? Asking for our fucking ID. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of us being murdered. We got to get the fuck out of here. So if you don't agree with something, that's fine. But make sure that you have a resolution at the end of that sentence. I don't agree, but this is like writing a paper. You were back in school and they told you how to write a paper. You can have an opinion, but you got to have some fucking shit to back that up. Okay? So I hope this is the beginning of a whole movement, a whole revolution, a whole you know, act like we in church. I want you to tap your neighbor. Say, neighbor. Hey, neighbor. It's time. It's time. Appreciate you. As always, it's the advice. Appreciate the love support. Appreciate the likes. Y'all don't be talking to us for shit, though. <laughs> in these kids. Say something. Anything. We don't care. Say something. Let us know you with us, y'all. Black power.